Welcome to the Windows channel and this is a Windows 10 Fall Creators Update feature highlight once again. Something that I find very useful actually and very interesting coming up in the Fall Creators Update. And this is for people that have more than one PC by the way. So if you have more than one Windows 10 PC, one of the things that's going to happen, and I've had the occasion to actually try it many times, is the option to continue where you left off. So basically, you're using a Windows 10 PC. You shut it down for some reason. You move away. You then pick up on, you know, another, turn on another Windows 10 PC. Well, in the Windows Action Center, in the Action Center at the bottom, when you click on the bottom right of your screen, here will be displayed. Um, well, you were doing this on that other PC, you want to continue? For example, I've seen many times when I was uh, playing around with my two insider machines. Uh, well, you were on YouTube last time on the Windows channel. Um, do you want to continue there? Um, also, it will tell you a few things about apps. For example, it's going to say, hey, you were in the uh, Facebook app when you left off on the other PC. Uh, click here if you want to continue. And it, it, it brings you exactly, exactly at the place where you were. So whatever you were doing, whatever web page you were looking at, for example, in, in Microsoft Edge, it's going to say, oh, you were on that web page in Microsoft Edge. Click here. We're going to actually bring you exactly where you were. So it's not just, you know, you were on, you know, Google. It's going to say, oh, you were doing this on Google. And if you click, if it was doing a search, for example, your search results or your page or whatever you were doing, is actually going to show up exactly where you were, as if you've never left. I got to say, it's an interesting feature. Now, that said, that feature works only if you are connected through a Microsoft account. And that's very important because that's the only way it can actually sync that information with you. So continue where you left, left off, I think, is a nice feature. Uh, one of, of the, um, I'd say one of the top features that I will enjoy using in the fall careers update because you know there's so many times that you actually uh, use you know, I use several PCs and there's so many times you were doing something and when you actually you know boot up the other PC you're like well I'd like to continue where I was what was I doing exactly and you know you had to to take care and just make sure you remember where you were or sometimes you put that web page in a, a favorite or a bookmark because you want it to kind of remember, um, you know, from another PC. Well, now it's all going to be done automatically thanks to this feature, which is one of the nice features that I do enjoy in Fall Creators Update. So continue where you left off. Great new feature coming up on October 17 when it starts rolling to your PC. Also want to answer um, a couple of questions um, concerning the uh, number. So a lot of people say, well, you know, so it's going to be 1710. I hear that all the time. People saying, well, you know, it's going to be 1710 because it's, it's October, not 1709. And no, it's going to be 1709. And remember that the creator's update was finalized in March, but was released to the public on April 2nd. So a lot of people said, well, why isn't it, you know, 7, 1704? And no, it's 1703. Uh, and the reason is, it was finalized in March. So it's pretty much the same thing is going to happen here. We're going to have a finalized version in September for Insiders. We'll be testing it out before it comes out. And, you know, if you look here, they've actually finally updated the information on the Insider builds. As this is a Insider build. And you see there's no watermark right now. So it has been updated to 1709 as a version number also. So, you know, it tells you, yeah, we're going to be, we're going to be ready in a week or two uh, with this uh, build. That is for sure. And for those that wonder, will the media creation tool and all of that be updated? Yes, it will. Uh, it will be updated probably on the day or very soon after the release of Fall Careers Update. And <clears throat> For those that are asking, well, should I, you know, take that and make and create a bootable USB thumb drive or something with it? Yes, it will be time 
when that happens to upgrade your bootable devices. So that means if you have a USB thumb drive with Creators Update right now, when we get the update to the media creation tool, create, erase it and create a new one with the Fall Careers Update. So you'll be at the latest image of the Fall Careers Update. And um, that's going to be the good thing. And finally, for people that ask me, will I be pushing it on a PC? Yes, I'll be pushing it on my main PC. Uh, we'll be forcing it. If it doesn't show up when it's released, it will be pushed. I will be, you know, doing it. I will be forcing it, of course, because I got to. I got to do it for you guys. And I got to give you my personal observations of how things went. Did it work well or not? Um, I'm halfway between upgrading and maybe doing a clean install. I'm not really sure what to do yet. I am thinking of a clean install that might be kind of an interesting idea. I don't know yet because it's a, a lot of work. If I do a clean install, I'll have to, of course, reinstall everything of the software I use. And uh, that's kind of time consuming. So for now, uh, possibly that I will be just pushing it for an upgrade and see how it goes. And if it really doesn't go well or something, then I'll do a clean install, but we'll see. For now, uh, of course, I will be pushing it on day one, October 17th. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and thank you so much for following us on this channel.